what up guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a wig tutorial from this look i saw on an instagram hair vendor her name is wig by excel and they have this kind of wig there and it's the excel wig and i really really loved it so today i'm going to show you guys how to make your own wig excel using basic products To do the wig, a list of what you're going to need is going to be listed down in the description box. So do make sure to check that out. First off, I'm going to go in with my spandex dome cap and I'm just going to wear it on my mannequin head. And then I'm going to go in with this lace and right now I'm just showing you guys where to draw. So I'm going to draw from my ear to the other ear and then I'm going to give like um, let's say three, 3 inches of headspace and then I'm going to connect the line so that I sew the lace on it. I'm going to pin the lace down with thumbtack just so that the the lace doesn't move when I try to sew and then I'm just going to go in and quickly sew the lace down to the wig cap. Now that this is done, I'm going to cut the ends with my scissors and then I'm just going to go ahead with the same scissors and I'm going to cut off the excess lace. This is the hair I'm going to be using for this tutorial and it's Kinky Bulk Hair from First Lady. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the hair. And then I'm going to comb it out. You need to use a comb because using a brush does not work. And because I want my hair to be as realistic as possible, I want to be able to comb it. So when you do comb the hair, you're going to trim off the part that is attached to the bundles. And then you're going to cut into two. If you want your hair to be longer, you can leave it like that. But because I wanted mine to really really be short i went ahead and cut again into two so here's the fun part to make the wig all i did was basic crocheting so i'm going to insert my hook into the again i'm going to put the hook through the cap and then i'm going to grab on my piece of hair i'm going to pull the hair through with the hook through the cap and then after that I'm going to tie it down so it's in a perfect knot. I went off, cam off camera and did a couple of these and also I switched my crochet pin to a much more smaller one because I was dealing with the top but as you can see the hair looks pretty full and it is really really coming together. So after doing all of that, I'm going to come to the front part now and I'm going to still go in with that same crochet needle and I'm just going to take smaller pieces of hair so that it can actually blend out from the back of the hair to where the lace is. I'm going to be repeating these steps all over.
I just want to say I lost the footage of me actually ventilating the hair but I have lots of videos on that so I'm going to link a bunch of them down below and you can see the exact same process. I went in with an elastic band to measure my head. I went the ear to ear measurement and right now I am just going to sew the elastic band to the wig. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side and, and I'm just going to measure the wig and start trimming it. As you can see it looks pretty natural from the front and the back and before I go into the next clip I just want to tell you that you should totally cut your hair on your head so that you see everything because I went again and I trimmed my head my hair on my mannequin head and some parts did not come out so well so you should definitely trim it on your head so that you see all what you're doing and you see how it actually fits your head so I'm just going and snipping off bits and parts of the hair so that everything can look short and come together nicely So here's what my wig looks like right now. I'm just showing you guys how it looks so that you can see. I'm going to wear it again so you can see the difference from the before I trimmed it and then now. because I wanted it to look really really flawless I decided to wear a wig cap and then go in with some guts to be and just apply that at the front of my hairline and then I'm going to go in with the blasting hairspray guts to be spray and I'm just going to spray that a little bit and then spread it on my hairline again I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to cut the excess lace from my wig I'm going to wear my wig down and I'm just adjusting everything so that it can fit perfectly. So what I like to do is massage my lace into my scalp. So after, and after I massage that, I'm just going to go in with my edge wrap and then I'm going to tie everything together. This is what your wig should look like at the end. I also did a video on this makeup look so definitely stay tuned to my next video I'm going to upload that don't forget to subscribe leave a comment down below and follow me on my socials I'll see you in my next video